If you're like me, you know what is your perfect day looks like, weather-wise. Sunny, rainy, snowy, whatever. You probably know that weather has something to do with how hot and cold it is outside. But really, there's a lot more to it than just temperature. So sit back, relax, and to disciple words, because today, we are talking about weather. So let's start with a big and pretty basic question. What exactly is weather? Well, weather is the condition of the air or the temperature in our planet in a day-to-day -day basis. The key here is that we are talking about short term. Weather describes what's happening right here, right now. So here are the examples that best describe the weather. It's pouring outside. It's freezing. The wind is really blowing. Such a foggy day. It's hot in here. Even though there is only one atmosphere on Earth, the weather is not the same in all over the world. There are different factors, or should we say, elements, that could change the atmosphere from a certain area, and together, they determine what the weather looks like from one minute and from one place to the next. These elements include temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation, and cloudiness. The degree of heat of an object or the degree of heat at a place is known as temperature. Thus, the quantity by which you can compare the hotness or the coldness of the body is called temperature. Temperature is measured by an instrument called thermometer. Did you know that the hottest temperature recorded in the history is 42 degrees Celsius? And it happens twice in Togigarao, Cagayan on April 29, 1912 and May 11, 1969. It is a highly compressible mixture of gases which applies pressure on Earth's surface by exerting its weight. Thus, atmospheric pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by the vertical column of air lying above a particular area. Atmospheric pressure is measured by using a barometer. The variation of atmospheric pressure from one place so another affects all the weather changes. For example, the rising pressure makes the weather fine, while the decreasing pressure makes the weather cloudy and rainy. Air is always remain in motion. Sometimes it moves horizontally and vertically. The horizontal movement of air is called wind. Air moves horizontally from the area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. Thus, the air in a direction which is essentially parallel or horizontal with the Earth's surface is called wind. The instrument used to measure the wind speed is called anemometer. Did you know that the wind doesn't make a sound? until it blows at an object. And also, did you know that the most country affected by the tornadoes is the USA? And it faces around 1,200 tornadoes every year. We know that the water vapor is always present in the atmosphere. This amount of water vapor called humidity. The moistness or the dryness of the air depends upon the atmospheric humidity. Weather is said to be humid when the water vapor content in the air is higher, and it is dry when the water vapor content is lower. The rainfall depends on the level of atmospheric humidity. Did you know that the rainfall is high at Mumbai because it is near the Arabian Sea? The instrument used to measure humidity is a dry and wet bulb thermometer called hygrometer and it is given in a percentage form. 
water from water bodies like lakes, rivers, seas, and oceans evaporates due to sun's rays and form vapor. This vapor mixes with the atmosphere. It rises higher and higher along with the air. Due to the lower temperature at a higher altitude, this water vapor converted into droplets around dust particles. This process is known as condensation. These water particles floats in the atmosphere, and a collection of such minute water particles is called clouds. Did you know that the cirrus clouds is the highest of all clouds, and it is composed entirely of ice crystals? The wind moves the clouds from one place to another, and thus we get rainfall from the clouds. And this is called precipitation. On the other hand, when we are talking about the overall weather patterns of the world, we are talking about the area's climate. Weather is the minute by minute change in the atmosphere, while the climate is what the weather is like over a long period of time in a specific area. Now, the weather is constantly changing all the time every day. I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine that weather is like your best friend or your tinatoyong girlfriend in which they cannot make up their mind in what place they want to go to or what meal they want to eat or what movie they want to see. You can barely hear from them the word kahit saan. This means that weather is like a moody personality that always changing and always and always be not constant. And that's end our topic concerning about weather. And now I prepared a short quiz B in order for you to assess the knowledge you obtained from the earlier discussion. And for the instruction, you will answer the three items multiple choice and you are given 15 to 20 seconds to answer each item and then type your answer on our chat box our basis for scoring is that time and accuracy just like what we've done in mom argente and i will read the question and the choices twice and again you are given only 15 to 20 seconds in each item Number 1. The air in a direction which is essentially vertical with the Earth's surface is called wind. A. True. And B. False. Again, I repeat, the air in the direction which is essentially vertical with the Earth's surface is called wind. A. True. And B. False. <laughs> Number 2. This is the condition of the air or the temperature in our planet in a day-to-day -day basis. A. Weather B. Climate C. Atmospheric pressure D. Atmospheric temperature Again, this is the condition of the air or the temperature in our planet in a day-to-day -day basis. A. Weather B. Climate C. Atmospheric pressure and letter D. Atmospheric temperature. Go! For the last number, if barometer is for atmospheric pressure and anemometer is for wind, how about for humidity? A. Thermometer B. Dry and wet bulb thermometer 
C. Bulb thermometer or letter D. Hygrometer. Again, I repeat, if barometer is for atmospheric pressure and anemometer is for wind, how about for humidity? A. Thermometer B. Dry and wet bulb thermometer C. Bulb thermometer or letter D. Hygrometer Go!